Hey guys, my name is Austin Gregory, and in this course, we're going to create a simple game using Unity based on what we learned in the Unity 101 course. So we're going to develop and build a very basic game idea so we can understand how all these things that we've learned tie in together to make an actual game. So what is the idea? We're going to be able to control a cube that can move around in our scene, in our game world, and also jump. We're going to be able to collect coins spread throughout these levels. And these coins are going to be protected by enemies that we have to weave around or even attack to kill and get out of the way. And once we have all the coins, we can go to the goal. And if we have completed and checked off every coin in the level, then we can go to the next level, which again will have coins spread out in a different way with different enemies that you have to avoid and or kill. So the idea, uh, we're going to have these enemies here that you can see. Now enemies can be any shape or form. They're all just going to be the same type of thing. You run into it, you die, you start over that level. Right, and you have these coins spread throughout the world here. These are just in between each of these obstacles. And for this one, you have to get three coins before you can go to the goal down here to go to the next level. And we can do anything with these enemies uh, and the uh, movement system that they have. They actually move based on what's called a waypoint system. So we have, uh, in this case, we have two points per enemy. So we have a point down here and then a point up in the air somewhere. And it moves between the two back and forth. But as you can see up here, we can also have three waypoints or as many as we want. This one moves in a triangle format. So it's going to move up here and then down here, then over there. And it just keeps cycling through those. And you can add as many waypoints and place them wherever you want per enemy. And you'll just get this cool movement system. Now, if you run into them, you will die and start over. So that's the whole idea here. And if I wanted to, I could use my sword that you see here to attack these enemies. And it will kill them and get them out of the way. So I can make uh, it a bit easier to get the coins. Now, that's something you could do, and it may not actually have much use in this type of level. If you have a lot of enemies, it may be worth the risk to try to kill them to get around them. And then you're also going to have a main menu that you're going to be able to click play, and it's going to take you into the first level. And then inside of that, you're going to have a pause menu. As you can see there, it's going to allow you to go back to the main menu, continue, or quit to the desktop. It's going to be pretty simple stuff, pretty fun stuff, and it's going to teach us a lot about Unity, and we're going to expand on everything that we've learned so far. So the first step, we're going to create a new project. We're going to set up our folder structure, so we're just going to create some folders uh, that's going to kind of guide where we place our files in our project. And then we're going to create our simple little player cube. And that's going to be it for the first step. And then the next one, we'll actually lay out our level that we're going to be playing in as we're designing our systems. So let's open up Unity Hub. Now, I am using the latest version available to me, which is 2018.2.12 F1. Using this, I'm going to click Create a New Project. And let's call this a simple game. And I'm going to use the latest version, 2018.2.12. And we're going to use the 3D template for this. And I'm going to click Create Project. Now that we are in our new project, what I want to do is I'm going to go in my Assets folder here. I'm going to create a new folder. And we're going to create a folder that's going to store all of our script files. All of the c -sharp files we're going to write, they're going to be placed inside of this scripts folder. Now inside of this, we could also add some subfolders that will add you know, more specific types of script folders. So if we had you know, player scripts, and we had enemy scripts, and we had stuff like that. But in our case, we're going to use just the single scripts folder for all of our scripts. I also want a folder that's going to be for our materials. We're going to create all these different colored materials so we can make out different objects in our world. So we're going to have a floor that's going to be a color. Our player is going to be a color. Our enemies are going to be a color. That kind of thing. So I'm going to call this materials. And inside this, we'll have all of our materials. Now, we also have a scenes folder here that has our default scene in it. Now, this is going to be used as our first level in our game. So what I'm going to do is rename this from simple scene to level one, level dash one. We're going to name all of our levels level dash whatever it is. And we're going to use that whenever we want to load certain levels. We can say, hey, load level seven or load level 12, that kind of thing. I also want a folder that's going to be for images. So if I have, in this case, we'll have only one image, and it's going to be for the logo on the main menu. We're going to have the 
uh, simple game logo that I created. We're just going to place it there so you can see how to use that in the UI. But you may have other images, maybe a coin image if you want to show in the UI, you know, a coin icon next to how many coins you've collected. In our case, we just have a simple text with how many coins that we have. It'd be very easy to do, though. And for now, this is all the folders that we're going to need for our project. Now, we may create more as we go if we see that we need some different folders, but this should be just fine. And what I want to do is in level one here, in this scene here, we have the main camera and the directional light. Now, we want both of these. We definitely want a light and we want a camera. But what I want to do is I want to create a player object. So I'll create a 3D object by right clicking, go down to 3D object and create a cube. Now our player is going to be a simple little cube. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call it player. And if you want to rename it, you can also come up here and you can rename it right here. Or you can just double click on it just like that. Now this is going to be placed right on the ground. We're going to use this grid as our ground. This is the zero, zero position in our world, and it makes sense that it would be placed on that. But since the anchor point for this cube is right in the center, the zero position of that is going to be right in the middle of the grid. So what I can do for that is on the position, since I know this, this cube is one unit, and we talked about that before, one unit by one unit, what I can do is take the position of it, and on the Y, set it to be 0.5. So half a unit up would be center point is now half a unit off of the ground. That's going to be it for the introductory lesson into the simple game course, guys. In the next lesson, we're going to set up our scene with our ground, our walls, and we'll get started adding some obstacles. They won't do anything yet, but we're going to design the level, set up the lighting, and get ready for some more fun stuff. That's in the next lesson, guys. My name is Austin, and I will see you there.